Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today Microsoft have updated the 42 and 72 600 ATR. This update is absolutely enormous. We have glitches and bug fixes from the lights down to the avionics of the aircraft. But before I get into listing the actual change log, I'd just like to know what your comments are regarding the ATR. Do you think it's a good aircraft? Or do you think simply with all the bugs in the aircraft, do you think they should have released it? I'd love to know your comments, please put them in the comments section below. But once again, before I get into it, as the aircraft was available in the marketplace, therefore it's really simple to update. All you need to do is go to your content manager and you should be prompted to update the aircraft. It's quite a big update, so hopefully you'll have a fast internet speed. Right, let's get into this changelog. So as I said before, there's absolutely loads to go through here, but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through certain aspects that I think are important to the aircraft. So the flight management systems has included a really big update. It's quite difficult to explain, so I won't go into it in too great detail. But nonetheless, let's go over it, what's in the changelog. So they've fixed the distance to destination the barrack way to selection, the flight plan and the memes. They've also fixed the performance cruise page on the MCDU and the wave calculation errors. Fixed the MCDU init page on the MCDU. Fixed minimum cruise uh, altitude and select behavior. But this still requires a little bit of work regarding the VNAV. Improved engine warning display alerts and overflow behavior. Pick the icing effects, so when it's not in icy conditions, um, it will disappear. Also, fix crash on selecting TRN waypoints on duplicates page. Fix the color on the scratch pad for the messages. Uh, instead of yellow, it should be white. Added the boost option to the pilot's checklist. Also, fix the boost option logic. Fix the aircraft position on the navigational display. Fix the bleed packs and procedure handling. Fix PFD speed bugs not reacting to the icing. AOA. Fix MCDU clear color. Again, yellow instead of white. Fix MP not dropping to 82% in climb and cruise after loading in cold and dark. They've also fixed an issue with the flight idle being too high. Fix the lights when starting a flight at the gate or parking position. Added support for toggle throttle reverse thrust. Fixed the takeoff config test. I don't know if this has happened to you, but uh, during flight, sometimes the doors would open. Um, so that's also been fixed as well. Smooth VNAV path calculation. Fix the GWPS light coming on when on final approach. Fixing the aircraft from lifting the nose up a little bit too early. Fix the inner turbine temperature for running engines during startup. Fix our vertical flight path mode. Fix top of descent marker from disappearing from time to time. Fix fuel pressure drop when selecting cross feed. And probably the most important one in my opinion is fixed autopilot not holding the correct altitude when setting your biro to standard pressure. Fixing the correct throttle for keypad and controller users. Fixed autopilot VNAV mode logic. Fixed temperature controls in the cabin for a nice ambient temperature. It will no longer play the disconnect sound of the autopilot when at the gate. I could go on all night, but I won't. As you can see, it's very, very extensive update. So what do I think? Well, I think it's a good thing. It needed fixing. There was a lot of bugs. Saying that, I still actually enjoyed flying the plane. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know your thoughts after you've updated the plane and had a quick flight and see what your thoughts were. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please do leave a like. Of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos or any live streams. 
once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye for now